You ever open up your photo gallery app and think, geez, there is a lot of junk in here? Well, Sponge is an app that makes cleaning and organizing your gallery an absolute breeze. With the app open, you just tap here, then you'll be able to select any specific month. And from there, you just swipe a photo right to mark it as one that you wanna keep and swipe a photo left to mark it as one that you wanna delete. Then once you've completed going through as many bits of media as you like, you then tap this proceed for deletion button. And just like that, all of those selected images and videos will be deleted. All right, second up today, we have Edge Gestures. And this is an incredible app that unlocks a heap of extra functionality for your phone's system side swipe gesture. Now, first things first, for those worried about how this will interact with your phone's default system side swipe gesture, well, if you come into the settings page, scroll down a bit and enable this prior to system gesture option, then that will mean it will actually override the system side swipe gesture, which means it'll work flawlessly. And from there, you can select from a bunch of different actions that'll completely level up your phone's functionality. So for example, I could make it so that swapping in from the left and holding will turn on my phone's flashlight. I could make it so that doing the same thing but from the right takes a screenshot. I could also make it so that swapping up and left switches to my previous app or that swapping down and holding on the left opens up my favorite application. And there are genuinely stacks more triggers and actions to pick from, so absolutely worth checking out. Next up is Shizu Tools. And if you've been following my channel for any length of time, then there's a pretty good chance that you've heard me talking about the app Shizuku. And well, Shizu Tools is a separate app that plays host to a bunch of really handy Shizuku enabled features all within the one interface. So you've got a system debloater tool, which allows you to uninstall any app from your phone. And the app will even provide you with indications as to which apps are safe to uninstall and which are not. There's this mixed audio tool that allows you to set things up so that you can have audio playing from multiple apps at the same time. Then there's this sound master tool, which allows you to control how loud the audio output is on an app by app basis. Plus there's a few more on top of those as well. Okay, let's all admit the depth effect wallpaper feature that was introduced with iOS 16, it's kind of killer. And what's crazy is that we're now two years since iOS 16 launched and we're still yet to have any sort of way to replicate the effect on Android. Well, that is until now. And I'm actually gonna show off two separate methods for this effect, neither of which require root access. The first of which is by using an app called depth effects wallpaper. Now, whilst this first method is the easiest, the caveat is that it only works with Samsung phones. So I will be showcasing how to achieve a similar effect on all Android devices in a moment. But if you've got a Samsung phone, which I know many of you do, this app is amazing. So with the app open, you just tap this icon here, then select any wallpaper that you like. So I'll select this one from my Luminar Walls app. Then I'm just gonna change the color of my clock and date here to white. And then as you can see, as I drag to increase the size of the clock and date, the app has actually automatically created the foreground layer for me, therefore replicating that depth effect pretty convincingly. I also suggest toggling the hide clock on home screen setting. And then if you upgrade to the premium version, you can then come down here and choose between a huge selection of fonts and styles. With my chosen font selected, I can now tap on remove slash change system clock. Then I'll tap open system settings. Then I can simply tap my clock here and change this to no clock, then tap on done. Now I just need to tap on apply, then set wallpaper, then home screen and lock screen. And now when I come back home, you can see that my wallpaper looks as it should, but then when I lock and then wake up my phone, that depth effect can be seen in all its glory. And that's why this app is restricted to Samsung phones because Samsung actually lets us remove the clock from our lock screen, which is so neat. Now for any non-Samsung phone, there is an alternate method that we can set up using KLWP and some handy presets. Though keep in mind, this will probably only be suitable for your home screen and not for your lock screen unless your phone also lets you hide your lock screen clock. But to pull this effect off, we also need to use a separate unique photo editing app called Photo Layers, which just so happens to be the next app on today's list. But before we make use of that app, we first need to download a custom KLWP preset that was originally created by a very kind user over on Reddit. I'll link his post below, but his preset was a little complicated to get working. So I've created a more simplified version, which you can download using the link below. 
From there, you'll wanna select your wallpaper of choice and definitely make sure that it's a wallpaper that has very distinguishable foreground and background layers like this one from my app, Lumina Walls. So I'm just gonna to tap to download that. Then I'm gonna open up the Photo Layers app and tap on Load a Photo. I'll select that recently downloaded photo, then tap on Done. Then from here, I'm gonna tap on Cut. Now there's a few methods that we can use to remove our background layers. The first option is this AI auto method, which is the easiest, but it often gets it wrong. So the second option is this auto color option, which will work a bit better if the background is all one color, but if it's not, then you can also use this magic option, which is definitely more work, but in my experience is far more reliable for a larger selection of images. Anyway, once you've removed your background, we then want to tap done, then done again, then tap on save and save again. And now we want to open up the KLWP app. From here, we'll tap on import, then browse to our downloads folder and tap on the recently downloaded KLWP preset file called depth effect. Then we'll tap here. And now we just need to come over to our global section. And at the top here, you'll find two options that we need to edit to set our wallpaper. For this first wallpaper option, we need to select our full screen wallpaper that we downloaded directly from Lumina Walls. Then for this no BG option, we need to select our foreground element exported from the Photo Layers app. With that done, you'll see the effect coming together and to edit the colors of the clock and date, we'll just need to tap this color down here and pick a color, then tap apply. Then to adjust the positioning of the clock, we've got these X and Y options down here. You can also adjust the sizing of the date and clock text as well using these global settings. And if you're looking to adjust the font, you can do that down here for both your clock and your date respectively. And if you really wanna emulate the iOS look, then you can download a set of iOS fonts, which I'll leave linked down below. And then once you're happy with everything, just hit save, then set as wallpaper, then set wallpaper, select your preferred option here. And with that done, we can come back home and there we go. And I know it might seem like a heck of a lot of work to pull off just a very simple effect, but hey, at least you've got the tools at your disposal now and you can decide how you wanna use them. Okay, halfway through the list and next up is the Blackmagic camera app. And I don't know about you, but when this app launched, given how it was promoted with the iPhone 15 series, I just fully assumed that it was an iPhone exclusive app. Well, turns out I was wrong. And us Android users have a just as powerful equivalent, which is amazing. Now keep in mind, you do need a pretty powerful phone for this app to work. Like I can't even install it on my Nothing Phone 2A, for example, but it does work on my Galaxy S24. And as you can see with the app open, you get literally every feature you could want for manual filming, including the option to change lenses. You can lock your shutter speed and your white balance. You can also enable or disable optical or standard image stabilization or switch to manual focus. Plus there's a whole heap of additional shot composition features such as zebras, focus peaking, grids, aspect ratio guides, and even false color, which is kind of bonkers. The only thing I wish the app included was the option to record in a log format. But aside from that, if I'm ever planning to film shots with full manual control in the future, this is the app that I'll be using. But if you've ever wished that you could use your phone as a dash camera while you're driving, well then Droid Dash Cam is the app for you. This is an incredible app that does exactly what it says on the tin and that it records dash cam style footage anytime you're driving. Now you can either manually open up the app to start a recording that way, or if you dive into the app settings and open up this auto start recording section, there's a whole host of options that you can enable that will trigger the app to start recording automatically, including my personal favorite, this start on Bluetooth device connection option, which means anytime my phone connects to my car's Bluetooth system, a recording will start automatically, which is so, so handy. Then we have Saver Tuner, and this is a free and open source application that allows you to have granular control over your phone's battery saver options. The app has a range of profiles that you can select from, each of which adjust these battery saver settings down here, and then you can tweak and adjust these settings as much as you like for even more control. And I was genuinely surprised at just how many options are available for us to tweak, including forcing background apps to go to sleep very quickly or disabling the always on display or even disabling vibrations and animations, which is really useful. Worth playing around with if you're looking to maximize how long your phone's battery lasts. All right, second to last today is DJ Mix, an incredibly cool application that allows you to transform your phone into a fully functioning DJ setup. 
And if I'm being honest, I've never really considered myself interested in DJing, really at all. However, even I could admit that it's a heck of a lot of fun thanks to how well this app has been implemented. You just tap here to load in a track, then here to load in a second track, then you just hit play and away you go. And you can do your classic disc scratch effects by moving the turntables back and forth. You can also fade between your two tracks as you like. And there's even this DJ pad feature for an even more immersive experience. Seriously, a lot of fun. And then last but not least, we have KineStop. And for those who saw that new accessibility feature added to iOS 18 that helps to reduce motion sickness, well, this is an app that's been around longer and does the job just as well, if not even better. You just grant the app some permissions, then hit this play button, and there you go. Your phone will now display this on-screen graphic that is designed to prevent what's called kinetosis by simulating a horizon, which as mentioned, therefore helps to reduce motion sickness. There's a few different themes to pick from, and as far as whether it actually works or not, you just need to take one look at the average five-star rating from over 1,000 reviews on the Google Play Store, and I'm pretty sure that you'll agree that the answer is a resounding yes. But that's it, 10 Android apps that I reckon pretty phenomenal. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.